Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today this video is to do with who secretly wants to be your Valentine this year. So I have done some pick a pile cards for yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to look back to the beginning of the video and look on there at what piles that you are drawn to. You can be drawn to as many as you like, that is not a problem. Just have that three type of um mindful deep um, intuitive um, feelings of connection to see which piles you are actually connected to and when you have connected to them go on to the piles that you um, feel that you connected to I will try to put the timestamp on the bottom below in the description box for you so I will see you all at your piles Hello there everyone who had chosen pile number one. This is your reading. This is about the person who is secretly wants to take you out on Valentine's Day. So this is the person that wants to be your Valentine's for this year. So there is a couple of cards that have come out for you. And the first card that have come out then is the reverse four of cups. So this is about a person that is in some type of contemplation mode. There is that sense of they are going on some type of retreat, so they may be um, a bit distant from yourself or you've been distant with this person. There might have been some type of um, complications between you pair. There is that sense of being withdrawn from you or withdrawn from people in general. Um, for others, I'm sensing that you are being withdrawn from people in general and not have that sense of want to be anyone's valentine. So that's a bit two messages that is coming through um, for you. The next one then is the reverse moon. So this is a person, or it could be yourselves, that has that sense of a lot of fears um, that's going on deep down inside you so this person may have a lot of fears um, whether to come forward and to ask you out to, you know to Valentine's dinner or just being in each other's um, company in on Valentine's Day um, there is a sense of this person is going to release their fears whatever fears they have they are going to overcome them there is that sense of having that pluck of courage and coming forward and actually coming out and asking you out for Valentine's um, but there is a lot of inner confusions with this person that they are currently battling you know they don't know whether to come forward if it's the right time if they're going to get rejected um, and um, and basically, if you know, is going to be a noble um, with the situation. Uh, and then for others, then there is that sense of having a lot of repressed emotions in general. So the feeling of mm, I don't know, should I, shouldn't I, um, or I don't feel like going out. It could be yourself that has a lot of these um, emotions, and that you don't feel. Um, that you're ready to go out on Valentine's Day with this person. The next card then we have is the reverse Six of Pentacles. So there is a sense of this person may be going through a lot of debt, so they haven't got no money and they're struggling. They want to come forward to you, but yet they are having a lot of struggles with money situations, so they can't actually take you out because they're struggling on the money side of things. Um, for others then, it may be that sense of in the past they may have took you out, um, but there haven't been that type of balance where, you know, they may have given you something and you haven't given them something in return. So it may be something down the line of um, they're not sure. This may be a person that want to come across and give something to you or give you some type of offer, but they're not sure if it's going to be that type of um, balance where they're going to do all the work and, you know, you're not going to even bother chipping in um sort of thing so it is that sense of a lot of fears a lot of inner confusions and a lot of things that's going on with this person like money wise or um that type of insecurities as well with this person so there is that side of um they don't think that it's fair that they go out on a valentine's and like 
what I what I'm sensing is, for instance, if you went out on a date and you was willing to pay their their dinner and they wanted the offer, they may feel like it's a bit unfair that um you have to pay for the dinner and they want to pay sort of thing if you if you get where i kind of coming across that's the sense i'm getting with this person that um they're struggling for money and they want to take you out but they don't want you paying for them you know for the valentines um so to speak so it's a bit of um if in an r in and a lot of confusions and battles with this person Next card then is the Six of Swords. So there is someone that is actually moving forward, coming towards you. There is that sense of it could be a past partner that's coming in because there is some type of unfinished business that's involved in this situation as well. It could be someone that is um, you had a lot of trouble with in the past. But things have gone into more calmer waters, so they're willing to come forward and give you that sense of they want to be your Valentine, so to speak. Then the next card we have then is the Knight of Wands. So there's a lot of energy and passion with this person. They are willing to come forward. They have that type of inspired passion inside them that they got a lot of passion for you. They really want to come towards you. They want to take you out. Um, they think it'd be a good adventure. They think be, everything would be great between the pair of you. Um, they sense that um, they are a type of person that's willing to give you anything and take you wherever you want. There is a lot of surprises with this person as well. Um, there is that sense of impulsiveness as well with this person. So you are to be receiving some type of communication from this person or persons. You then have the card of strength. So someone may be um, a Leo sign. Um, there is a lot of strength with this person. You may have had some type of confrontation um, with each other in the past. Or there is a lot of confrontation with this person in themselves. They want to have that strength. They want to have that courage to actually open up and ask you out. There is also that sense of having a lot of courage and compassion as well with this person. There is that sense of bravery and plucking that courage to actually come out, you know, and feel brave and actually want to ask you out, you know, go out to Valentine's together. Um, then it is the Three of Swords then. So someone may potentially be turned down. They may feel that... Um, You've broken their heart, they ain't gonna um they can't take you out, something have got in between. Um you either turn them down or something bad have happened so none of you can um make it to the night. Some of you then it may be someone that's very, very jealous of you that wants to um be your Valentine. So is that sense of they may have had a broken heart in the past from yourselves or you've broken their heart or they've broken yours. There is some type of deception that's involved and a lot of frustration where they want to come towards you. They want to talk to you. They want to get things put out in the open. Um, they could potentially think in that there's a third person, you know, a third party member that's involved um, in this Valentine, they're not so sure if you got someone else for Valentine's, that's why they can't come forward. Um, or there is that sense of grief and sorrow with this person where something bad have happened. Uh, they either got turned down or they may, may have been something that may have broke off a relationship between you both. Or there was a death or something of that um, that had happened where things can't go forward with this one person then the last card we have for you then is the queen of cups and um, with the queen of cups this is about a person that has a lot of self-care they just want to you know come out in the open this may be yourself that has a lot of care and a lot of respect for yourself and you're not having that sense of coming forward because it's not the right time um and for some of you, this person may have some type of codependency issues as well. Um, there is that sense that there is a lot of things going on with this person. Like, if they were to ask you out on Valentine's Day, 
it, it is not that sense that they want a committed relationship. They they just have that sense of looking after themselves and doing things on the fun side. So that is um, for some of you, not all of you. Um, but please just take whatever you can resonate with in that reading. I hope you all enjoyed that pie number one and I see you again soon. Hello everyone who choose pie number two. This is your reading. This is about the person who secretly wants to be your Valentine this year. There is a few cards that have come out for you so I'm going to tell you um, about this person and go from there. So the first card then that I've come up for you is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is someone that does a lot of hard work. They work their bums off, so to speak. Um, they get paid quite a lot. There is that sense that they are willing to do a lot of hard work in a relationship. They do a lot of hard work in general. There is also the sense that... Um, this person is trying to develop um, some type of hard work within um, a relationship or they are willing to do a lot of hard work in general on something um, where they secretly want to come out and give you that attention to be your valentines but they have got a lot of things on um, at the current moment where there's a lot of work that they are going to be doing um, and they feel a bit like they got up for work first, so to speak. But they have got a lot of skills as well. Next card then is the Fool card. So this person, they are a type of person that is very much free spirited. They may be a good friend of yours. You may have a good connection with this person. There is a good friendship. There is a sense of happiness. They feel happy when they are around you. They think everything's hunky-dory. Um, and they are willing to take that leap forward and move into the unknown. And pluck up that courage and ask you out to be the valentine. Um, but they have that sense of clumsiness, so to speak. So they're the type to not watch where they walk. Um, they are very much divinely um, guided to where they need to be in life. Um, but they are willing to move forward, take a good leap forward and see how things go between the both of them. Next then is the reverse Queen of Wands. So there is a person then that has a lot of self-respect. They respect you, they self-respect themselves. There is that sense of a lot of good confidence in this person. They may be over the age of 25. They may have green eyes and blonde to red hair, um, but not all of them. This could be like at least one, two percent chance on some of you having this person come forward that's has them features. Um, there is that sense that they want to come forward, but they don't know. So they basically look at that 50 50 type of um, moment that they're not too sure whether to proceed coming forward. Um, and that's with that card. So the next one then is Reverse Ace of Wands. So this is about a person that has a lack of direction. They don't know what they want to do. They don't know whether to come forward. They don't know whether just to leave it. They just have no sense of direction. They can get easily distracted. And there is a lot of delays with this person. So there may be a lot of work commitments with this person that got a lot of things going on. But they really want to be your Valentine. But they know that they can't go out they got a lot of things that they need they got a lot of priorities that needs to come first um, because there's a lot of delays going on in their life and there is a lot of distractions um, with this person so they don't know what they want to do but deep down they want to come forward but yet they can't because there is a lot of distractions there's a lot of things that's holding this person back from coming forward and coming out with um, what they want 
Then it is the Seven of Wands, so there is a person that is very, very much frustrated, um, but they are keeping on top of a certain situation. There is also that sense that they are in for some type of challenge, so they're not too sure if they should come forward. They may think that you got someone else, um, but I think there is that sense of they willing to take their risk, they're willing to take their competition with someone, they're willing to take that challenge to come forward and, you know, to be your valentine, to see how things goes, you know, because, like, they don't know what would be said, what would happen if they didn't ask, so to speak. So there is that sense of um, defensiveness and protecting themselves as well. So some of you, you may have been involved with this person in the past and they were very, very frustrated. Um, they may have had their guards up in the past, um, but they are willing to come forward to some extent and, you know, see how things go between the both of you. Next then is the reverse death card. So this may be a Scorpio sign. This is also about someone that is resisting some type of change. So this person, um, there may be a past person that is want to come forward. They want to be there for you. They secretly want to be the, your Valentine. But like they're going through a lot at the moment. They're going through a lot of personal transformations. They're going through a lot of changes in their life and they don't like change. Um, and they want to come forward. But this sense of this person that you want to take this one certain person back because of the way they've been um, and because they're going through a lot as it is, they don't think it'd be worth coming forward. Next card then is the Four of Wands. So there is definitely someone coming forward. Um, it could be a new partner. It could be um, someone that you're married to, someone that you've been in some type of celebration mode with, someone that's actually coming home to, someone that you love dearly and that you've been in connection with for a long, long time. I've got like that sense of four years and or four months that you've been in contact with this one person and they're actually coming to you and there is going to be that sense of being your Valentine, being there and treating you like you deserve. There is that sense of joy, harmony, success and celebrating with this person. I'm also getting that sense that someone may propose to one of you um, that might have this, you know, that have choose this pile, someone may potentially get engaged. There is that sense of um, commitment and someone getting engaged. Is that sense of um, the happiness and contentness and that set celebrating like type of time. You then have the judgment card. So this may be someone that um, done you wrong in the past. There may have been some type of circumstance that you've been involved with this person and there was a lot of things going on. Um, there may have been some type of judgment and a lot of unfairness with this person. Um, but then for others, this could be the person that have been called in to you and this is the person that you need in your life. Um, but there is also some type of obstacles around this person as well. Okay, there's your next card then, which is the last card, which is the Nine of Cups. So there's definitely someone that's coming in and they feel like they just won the lottery, so to speak. Um, they feel very content being around you. They're going to feel smug and pleased because, you know, they're with you. They're happy. They, they are eventually going to be your Valentines. There is that sense of a lot of improvements on the way with this person. There is a lot of good emotions with this person also as well. And there is just a lot of happiness and good things to come with this person as well. Okay then, pile number two, I hope you can all resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoy my videos. And i see you all again soon. Hello everyone who choose pile number three. I hope you're all doing okay. 
So this is the reading about who secretly wants to be your Valentine this year. So there is a couple of cards that have come out for you and I'm going to go into detail about this person and go from there. So the first card then that come out for you is the reverse page of wands. So this is a person that is starting to redirect their energy. They are very spiritual. They feel like... This may be a past person that had a lot of um, animosity in the past with yourselves. There is that sense of having a lot of, how can I say, um, self-limited beliefs. Like they want to come forward to you, but they are redirecting their energy elsewhere. So like they, they want to be a Valentine, but they turn their energy elsewhere. It's like they don't want to come forward Um as of yet I'm getting and also there is that sense of whatever beliefs they got whatever spiritual path or whatever journey that they're going on they're going on their own path they are staying on their own but they do think about you they secretly do want to be your valentine but they are starting to um, be focused upon their own selves their own journey in life there is someone then that's coming in with the Ten of Cups. So this person, um, it may be someone that you're married with. There is to be some type of celebration that's coming in for some of you. There is also that sense of um, being content. So there is someone definitely coming in that's very happy with you. They're very content with you. There is that strong bond, that strong commitment with this person. A lot of harm, harmony. This may be someone that you have children with um, or you've got a child on the way with. So it is that sense of a good person, your twin flame and your soulmate. You then have the five of cups. So there may be someone that have lost out on the opportunity to ask you out. There may be that sense of they've lost out um, on some financial um, setbacks at the moment. There is a sense of they've lost out on something and they can't see a way forward. Um, there is a lot of loss and grief for this person and a lot of disappointment. So they may have done you wrong in the past and they feel very disappointed because they are actually seeing you as a good person. They see that um, they could have had everything with you sort of, um, but they actually feel like a failure. And they have a lot of regrets that, you know, they're not with you anymore. There's a lot of things that they got going on and they haven't got you in their life um, anymore. So they do have that type of regrets going on. Then you have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So this is someone that is going through a lot of delays in life. There is that sense of someone has a lot of frustration. And I'm getting this is a very strong ex-partner coming through so it could be that one that had a lot of losses with the five of cups so with this person they've got a lot of delays in life they are very much frustrated that they can't change the way they've been to you they can't change a certain situation that they're in there is that sense that they are resisting change it's like they had everything and now they've got nothing um it's like they're losing out on a lot and they're losing out on a good person as well. That's why I've got that's coming through pretty strongly. Then you have the Knight of Cups. So there is someone that's coming in that is very creative with the way they speak, the way they are in general. They are very much romantic. There is that sense of them being like a prince charming or a princess charming. Um, is a lot of attraction with this person and this person may need a lot of confidence to come forward to you but they are going to come to you with some type of offer that is a lot of um, attraction with this person as well it is a lot of sense of good things um, come to those who wait as well um, there is also the sense that they do have that sense of worry whether to come forward or not, but they are going to have that courage to come forward to you. Um, 
and give you a good time, so to speak. You then have the Page of Swords, so there is someone that have been spying on you for a very, very long time, and they secretly want to be your Valentine. There is that sense of someone wants to come in with a new way of communicating with you, so it is some type of, I'm sensing you might have blocked this person and they're willing to contact you in some different type of um, communication way. Um, there is that sense of they need to know if they can move on or if you've actually moved on in life. Um, it's like they want some type of communication to see if um, they can move on. Um, if there's anything that the both of you could rekindle again. Um, there is a lot of reflection as well and a lot of deception, you know, like someone that keeps spying on you to see if you've actually got a partner, if you have actually got a Valentine's for this year. And this person is very much curious as well. They, they are curious. They do keep an eye on you to see... Um, if you're with anyone or if you are actually single. Last card then is the Page of Cups. So this is about a person that's very much creative. There is to be some type of new opportunities coming in for you and this person. They are plucking their courage to come forward. They have a lot of um, curiosity as well. Um, but they are determined to actually come in they have that sense of, how can I put it, excitement as well about them. There is that huge possibility that they are going to come in and there is a lot of um, good news with them. They, they, you are going to say to them, you are going to accept um, this person into your life. And you know that this person is a good, kind-hearted person as well. This person can be a bit spiritual as well. They could have a lot of intuitive messages. There is a lot of thinking going on. Um, and I'm getting this person worships the ground that you walk on as well. Okay then, pile number three, that is your reading. I hope you can all resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. And I see you all again soon. Hi everyone, who oh, chose pile number four. This is your reading about who secretly wants to be your Valentine this year. So there is a few cards that have come out for you and I'm going to dive straight into them right now. So the first card that come out for you then is the Six of Cups. So this is a past person that wants to be your Valentine. They want to come forward. They do have a lot of memories with you. There is that sense of happy memories with them. There is that sense of innocence and join us and want to come forward and give you that type of love offer. Um, but there is that sense of... Uh, they're a bit innocent, but they don't know whether to come forward or not. So it is that sense of should I, shouldn't I um, feelings with this person. Next one then is a nine of pentacles. So this person is definitely a single person. Um, they are willing to come forward with some type of peace and contentment. So they are going to come forward and they are going to have that sense of... Um, willing to come forward to you, um, tell you how they feel. They have that sense of life of luxury, so they are really wealthy. They've got a lot going on for themselves. Um, they like looking after themselves. Uh, there is a lot of abundance and financial abundance and independence for this person as well. So there is a lot of good things going on with this person. Then you have the Empress. So this may be a person that um, you've got pregnant or you're pregnant by or you've had children with. Um, there is that sense of very attractive. This person's very, very attractive. And they're also very nurturing. And they have got a lot of wealth about them. And they have like that sense of a motherly figure or a fatherly figure about them. And everything is so great about them. Then you have the reverse Seven of Swords. 
and this is about a person that has that sense of imposter syndrome and um, you've got to be really really weary of this person there is that sense of self-defeat and self-deceit with this person there is a lot of keeping secrets so maybe this person may be in a relationship and they're keeping secrets from them or they're keeping secrets from yourself there is a lot of secrets going on with this one person so this is one of the best things as well because they secretly want to be your valentine and this is the card of secrecy so they definitely want to be your valentine they do um they do see you as the person that may bring a ray of sunshine into their life as well. But it's still a little bit of precaution there. Um, reverse five of wands then is the next card. And this is about a person that has a lot of mental conflict. They have a lot of conflict up inside of them. Um, there is a lot of tension going on with this person. But they want to release it. So there's a lot of things going on inside of them. Um, that they want to come out and say um, but they're scared in case they come out as a conflict and they want to avoid that conflict as much as possible but there is a lot of things going on inside of them that is um, that they are battling at the moment and there is conf conflict type of um, ways of it uh, then you have reverse king of swords and this is about a person that can be a bit cold hearted they can be a bit of a coward they can be a bit of a manipulator as well um, and they do tend to use um, misuse their own power so they can be really nasty they can be really cruel they can be um, argumentative um, they have a lot of bad traits about this person so this is a bit of a precaution as well and then the last card then is reverse justice so this is about someone that thinks everything's unfair they think something is unfair they have that sense of lack of accountability about themselves there is a lot of dishonesty so this person may be very dishonest with yourself or they're dishonest with themselves there is a sense of not being honest at all um there's something that needs to come out but they they holding back they holding back from it okay then pine and thought that is your reading so everyone that is your reading about who secretly wants to be your valentine i hope you all resonate with it to some extent please like share subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos stay safe stay positive and i see you all again soon bye